Good morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, giving everybody a chance to tune in here for just a little bit to make certain that everybody's up to date and ready to go. Again, just a little bit before our regular start time, just to make certain we're double checking everything that everybody can testing one, two, three, hear me for right now. This is downtown Memphis, Tennessee. Welcome to our video weather blog called Weather Overtime. If you've never tuned in here before, again, this is where we give you as much information as possible in a video magazine weather blog, whatever you want to call it format, again, a good opportunity to catch up to date as to what's going on with weather in and around the area. We've got a lot to talk about for this morning with, again, some winter weather on the way. Not exactly going to be seeing anything in the way of major amounts of problems with, again, heavy snow or anything like that. But brutally cold weather on the way to the Mid-South. And when we say brutally, that's not a term I throw around lightly as a meteorologist. Some of you out there, again, probably saying, oh, that's meant to panic people. No, it's not. It's meant to warn you about things. Professionally, we want to let you know what's going on out there. And we're looking for some very cold weather to be heading our direction into the course of the weekend and right on in through the end part of the year and into next year. We're looking at some very quiet conditions later, but not as we go again into the early portions of this next several hours as a cold front begins to work its way a little bit closer to the Mid-South area. Again, dangerously cold weather across the Mid-South. Stay tuned. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. Drop your location and your weather reports into the comments section. We'll talk about what the temperatures are like around the Mid-South or if you're outside of the Mid-South to give us an idea as to where you're from and again, as accurate as you can be. If you're in Australia, as some people have checked in before, give us a town and you know general location around that area of the continents. Uh, Again, for right now, looking at the Mid-South area for temperatures out across much of the area on the fairly cold side for now, but we'll be changing that later. If you have a weather report, again, put that into the comments section. If you've never tuned in here before and you're brand new, if you can't stick around for the whole forecast blue bar right down there, that's the forecast scrolling by. So again, more information there. If you'd like to check out our weather page, all you have to do is go here, wreg.com slash weather. Want to contact me directly, austin.onic at wreg.com, and you can also get our seven-day forecast available at our main weather page so we can get more information to you out there through the website as well. Let's see who we've got here so far. 37 in Bolivar, Burt Bishop. Thank you very much. Hibernating for the next seven days. Doesn't actually sound like a bad idea. Wish I could do that. Uh, Parsons, Tennessee. Lisa Jan Chalk. Sorry, I'm reading two-point typeface with bifocals, and that doesn't work too well. Uh, Jenny Ramsey, Go Tigers Go. Sure, that's a sentiment for a lot of people out there. Mike Bingham from Oklahoma, anywhere near Lawton. I've got a lot of friends out from high school in that direction. 32 degrees in Nashville. Lawrence Lilly, thank you very much. Ripley, Mississippi. Crystal Hogue Floyd. 34 degrees there. Morning to everybody else who's checking in for this morning. 32 in Madisonville, Kentucky from Liggy Hatch. And thanks to, again, everybody else for checking on through. Let's go ahead and get started again and showing you more about what's happening out there with just a general taste of the forecast here, what to expect numbers throughout the next several hours. We should be relatively stable. We may gain a couple more degrees, but that's going to be about it for temperatures throughout the rest of the forecast through the rest of the day. Once that cold front comes on through, winds switch out of the north, become relatively breezy, and numbers will actually do a slow slide as we head towards sunset. So if you are heading out to watch the Tigers play the Cyclones at the Liberty Bowl later on today, if you're in town from Iowa, welcome to the area. We'll actually have a little taste of what you are going to be having to go back to in just a little bit from Weather Nation, so stay tuned for more on that in just a little bit. Again, currently, again, not bad, but these numbers are going to change a lot into the next about 24 hours with the arrival of our next cold front. Let's take a look at some of the webcams out there, some more clouds around the area of Heidelberg Elementary and Clarksdale, and you may see the possibility of some precipitation in the Mid-South as we get into very early tomorrow morning. Definitely want to keep it tuned to daybreak to keep you updated on that. From Germantown, Tennessee, looking back toward the, the towers of East Memphis, not doing too bad right now. Poplar Pike and Germantown, just north of Germantown High School, showing again temperatures going back into the mid-30s, way warmer than what it has been over the last couple of days, and a bit of a wind chill out there as well. Travel information, I-240 at Poplar moving along. No major problems being seen at this point, but again, later on tomorrow, south of the News Channel 3 viewing area, we could be looking at some problems into and around the Mid-South at this point in time. Uh, 36 degrees... 
It feels like 8 in Chicago. Stacy L. Grant, I hope I'm reading that right. Sardis, Mississippi, 35 degrees. Tina Williams, thank you very much. 30 degree wind chill, 33. Andrea Windbush Stansel in Jackson, Tennessee. Thank you very much for everybody for those weather reports out there. Live view of Sycamore View and I-40 this morning and the flyover. Traffic is light and picking up a bit, but moving along out there and good visibility with no problem seen here. Traveling by air, we've seen some road conditions out there. Looks pretty good. Delays at Memphis International Airport. Again, nothing to report. The green icon indicates delays of 15 minutes or less. And earlier this morning, Miami International was having some slowdowns, but that doesn't appear to be the case at this time. And according to the FAA's website, as I can see across the desk here, uh, keeping an eye on major and connecting airports, we're not seeing anything out there in the way of delays for right now. Check out this information. Get it at our website at, again, wreg.com slash weather, or you can go direct to the source at fly.faa.gov from the Air Traffic Control System Command Center, keeping you informed as to what's going on with travel delays. And so far, looking pretty good. But remember, a lot of people in motion over the next few days as the holidays come to an end, and a lot of people getting back to work again by the time we hit next Monday and Tuesday. So again, something to think about if you are going to be traveling. Storm Tracker 3S Radar, Mid-South Area, again, clean sweeps nothing showing up in the way of precipitation just yet. Our next cold front is on the way. It's sitting up over southern Missouri and northern parts of Arkansas at this time, and that's going to be making its way through. It's not in any hurry to get here. It's moving along steadily but slowly, so we will see the colder air on its way through, but it's going to take a while. And behind that front, brutally cold air coming on down. Wind chill advisory from the National Weather Service is going to go into effect for the metro area, all of West Tennessee, all of North Mississippi, all of East Arkansas. That's the News Channel 3 Mid-South viewing area that starts tomorrow night, New Year's Eve at 9 o'clock, and doesn't expire until New Year's Day at noon. So as we go into tomorrow night, heading out for the parties and the celebrations and everything else, indoors is going to be your best bet because we could see some wind chills here, especially along and north of I-40, back below zero very easily tomorrow. So some brutally cold conditions as you're walking from your car, parking lot, to the party you're going to and back again. Keep that in mind out there. Now, a little bit sooner and into tonight, this is going to be the area that we're going to have to monitor. Clarksdale, back from Panola, Quitman, Coahoma, Lafayette counties in the News Channel 3 viewing area, and back toward Tupelo and the Alabama state line. Winter weather advisories are issued to cover a multitude of different types of precipitation. If it's going to be just one thing over another, you may see like a freezing rain advisory or a snow advisory. In this case, it could be just about anything as we get, again, those temperature profiles in the atmosphere that may give us the potential of some problems here into tonight. So past midnight and into around noon tomorrow, probably leaving the area by about sunrise. Anything from the Mississippi River across the northern third of the state, from roughly Tupelo, Oxford, and down to about Clarksdale, Batesville, and that area. You could see some slick spots tomorrow. Now, once again, we are not talking about feet of snow or several inches of ice, but remember that it only takes like a fraction of an inch to get some major problems going on the roadways tomorrow morning. So if you are traveling or know anybody who is going to be traveling through this area tomorrow morning, stay tuned to the weather experts and we'll keep you updated. And if we see anything on Storm Tracker 3S later on this evening, we'll be bringing you updates on that on there and also on social media media as well as much as we can to make certain you stay safe out there. Whether you're on the go or staying in the house, we are the station that is on your side. We want you to be informed as to what's going on out there when it comes to the winter weather situation. Again, nothing major in the way of collection out there, but enough to cause a lot of problems tomorrow if it materializes the way we think it's going to. Now, this is the current temperatures in the Mid-South. You can access this also at WREG.com slash weather. Mid to upper 30s right now across much of the area. Winds, again, fairly light, enough of a wind chill, but again, something to see, again, the possibility that we could get a little breezy out there for right now. This is on the southeast side of that cold front. Let me step off screen for just a little bit and show you what it looks like back to around Kansas City, Missouri. Time to play everybody's favorite game show, Spot the Cold Front. This is the air temperatures up around Kansas City, including at WDAF Channel 4 in Kansas City. Mike Thompson, if you're watching, hope you're doing okay up that direction. And around Kauffman Stadium, Kansas City Royals, 
Not exactly baseball weather right now. Winds fortunately fairly light, but a temperature of 8 degrees and the home field of the Royals back that direction, and even close to 3 degrees around Maryville, Missouri. That's the cold air that is heading our direction over the course of the next couple of days. So again, brutally cold conditions out into and around the area. Andrea Winbush Stansel, check on the elderly during these cold days and nights. Always nice to be a neighbor out there. And if you have pets that are usually outdoors, if it's too cold for you, it's too cold for them. Bring them indoors if possible. If it's not possible, make certain they have adequate shelter out there. And remember that animal neglect is a misdemeanor crime in all 50 states. And if you see it happening to where a pet is not being properly protected, report them to the authorities here in the Mid-South area. You can call the Humane Society of Shelby County and Memphis, and they will in turn refer an investigation to the Shelby County Sheriff's Department. So keep that in mind if you see that going on. So just go ahead and bring them on in. It's going to be one of the best things you can do. And keep an eye out for anybody who does not have adequate shelter for tonight. Now, getting into this afternoon, heading off to the Liberty Bowl, Temperatures may start off in the upper 30s, but we get back into the lower 30s by the time we get towards sunset tonight. More of that cold air spills into the area by News Channel 3 at 10, back in the lower 20s and into tomorrow morning. That's where we start to see again the potential of that precipitation showing up into and around northern parts of Mississippi. It doesn't look like much at this time, but it will be on that northern fringe of a lot of that moisture, and some of that could make its way again into around the areas of, we just mentioned, between Tupelo and back toward Clarksdale. That's going to be the main thing we're going to be looking at for right now, but most of the activity we're going to be watching should be the bulk of it is down to the south. Just some of that could cause some problems into the area early tomorrow morning. That may stick around through about News Channel 3 daybreak, but most of that should be gone as we head toward lunchtime tomorrow. Not going to be above freezing for the last day of the year. Temperatures heading into the mid to upper 20s at best. And then by the time we start getting ready to party away the old year and get ready for the new, that's the temperatures by the time a lot of the parties are going to start. Lower to mid 20s, breezy northerly winds. By the time the ball drops in New York City and also here in the Mid-South area, teens across the Mid-South. And look at these numbers as we head into early Monday morning. Lower teens, that's just the air temperature. Regular wind chill numbers out there with those winds north at 10 to 20 miles an hour could be below zero. And that's why we have the uh, wind chill advisory in effect as we go into the early portions of Monday morning. So that is something you have to consider, especially for the kids. Remember that young kids can't generate the same amount of body heat that adults do. So they have to be bundled up against this. And we could see these numbers going right on into the possibility of some problems into around the start of school for the new semester. Now through today, mid to upper 30s, mid 20s as we head towards Sunday. And getting into early Monday, New Year's Day, that's as warm as it gets. And again, temperatures by the time we get into New Year's itself, back in the teens with some very low wind chills out there. Chance of precipitation, again, we're going to throw in a small chance in that for northern Mississippi. The metro area, anything north of I-40 is really just not seeing much of anything at this time. We'll stay cold throughout the rest of the week, briefly above freezing by Wednesday, below freezing again by Thursday, and heading into the rest of the forecast by Friday and toward next weekend, mid-30s or so. Back toward normal, not close to normal. That's in the mid-50s for this time of the year. Back in the upper 40s by next Monday, the second Monday of the year. And that's where we see, again, some chances of precipitation out there, but really just not by much. So again, that's it. A very dry week and a very cold week coming up for much of the rest of the Mid-South. So please keep that in mind uh, into and around the area for the rest of the next couple of days out there. Thanks to everybody for checking in. Some nice Happy New Year's wishes out there this morning. And good morning to everybody checking in from around the Mid-South area at this point in time. Uh, Angela Perez, do we have snow coming to Memphis, Tennessee, or Germantown? Outside of a flurry tomorrow morning, if we even get that much, I really don't think we're going to be seeing too much of anything out there at this point in time. Uh, everybody else checking in this morning, welcome to the show, and thanks for dropping your location and your temperatures in there. A lot of people checking in with some of those temperatures. Mickens, Carity, hope I'm saying that right, 35 in Atoka. Thank you very much for that. Campbell, Ohio, Monica Russell, 2 degrees. 
Okay, that should make you feel a lot better about temperatures here in the Mid-South. Thank you very much for that, and good morning to everybody else out there. If you are traveling, if you're in town for the Liberty Bowl, and you're in town from Iowa, welcome to the area. Hope you've had a safe trip down here. Hope you're enjoying the Mid-South. Hope you're enjoying all the sights and sounds of Memphis down on Beale Street and everything else. The rally yesterday for the Iowa State fans at AutoZone Park. Hope everybody had a great time there, and hope everybody has a wonderful time at the Liberty Bowl later on. But... If you're in from Iowa and you're going back pretty soon, this is a lot of what you're looking at from Weather Nation up around Story City and around the Ames area, pretty close to Des Moines and in and around close to Iowa State. This is some of the weather that you're looking at up there. So again, looking like it could be some slow travel the closer you get above the Missouri state line. So if you are heading back that direction pretty soon, this is what you're going to be looking for into and around the area back towards central Iowa. Thanking Weather Nation and Charlie Hull via the Storyful app for sending in this picture and the video that this comes from out there. So thank you very much to everybody for that. If you'd like to see more about those type of situations and weather in general, drop by my Instagram pages, Facebook, Twitter, Periscope, Google+, WordPress, YouTube, Tumblr, SoundCloud, and as soon as I figure out how to get it on the Game Boy Network, I will definitely let you know about that. And we'll also keep you updated on the radio as well on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 throughout the rest of the weekend and throughout the rest of the year. So again, things looking like fairly quiet for now, but definitely very much on the cold side as we decide to wrap things up and work our way into the early part of 2018. So stay tuned to News Channel 3 for updates on all that, and we'll keep you advised throughout the course of the rest of what's left of 2017. Updates later. Again, more information here and here if you'd like to keep up to date with the weather with News Channel 3, wrhg.com slash weather. I'll be on again tonight at 5, 6, and 10. And Jim and Todd will have more information on your New Year's Eve day forecast. And Tim Simpson back again for next week for more on the forecast there. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stay tuned for much more with News Channel 3 throughout a very cold end of 2017. And more updates throughout the rest of the day on social media and tonight on News Channel 3 at 5, 6, and 10.